Selam şen ve bab. Ay selam şebe bu sahne şeri bitkom. Allah rahmet bikom. We will begin in a few minutes. We will wait for more people to join. بنياكم يمشوش ال ساوند اليرتس في السيونس هذا المفروض كان كيف نولي نلعب نحيهم على الترول وللاسباب هذيك سوري سوري ميت بلا يتصور نبدا غاطس في الكود ونقري واتي ما عندي واحد يبعث لي شبيها صلوح قول لي بنياك انت تفهم HTML و CSS و جافا سكريبت ولا مش طشان ولا شي جملة جملة Ich meine, das ist ja dies. Man, ich habe die Fett, die Fessions, die Fett, die ich nicht mehr sehe, ich habe die Fett, die ich nicht mehr sehe, die ich nicht mehr sehe. أي ما عندك عندك شوية ما أعرفه هذا شنو نقص خاطر اللي اللي عملته في السيونس اللي فاتت لازمك تكون تعرفه مش أوبليجاتوار باش النجم نكمل وما سيرك باش تتعلم بشوية بشوية كنت تحب تتعلم أنا ديجا ديجا تت البيزكس متاع البيزكس
فهمتوا لي كاه اللي باش نخدموه ابارتير من تو مطلوب و تنجم تدبر بيه خدمة حتى كي تولي ماكش قاري انفورماتيك قبل انا خدمة معايا عباد نقرش الفا سي نورمال الفايدة في ال... الفايدة انك تكون دوي و... وتحب تتعلم و... وعندك المينيموم انا باش نعطيك المينيموم باش نعطيك المينيموم و بعد تحب تكمل تحب تزيد عليها تحب تتعلم اكثر تحب تكون في الدومين تحب جيست تحب تتعلم وكاهم وقتها انت حر يا برو You're free to do whatever you want Version Betunsi Why not? هو احتمال كان عملتها بالتونسي هكا هو الفرنسي ولا الانجليزي خير انا اصلا فيرسيون فرنسي ندم عليه <تصفيق> اما بالانجليزي لازم بالانجليزي لازم اصلا اصلا حتى في اخر السيري كيف كيف <تصفيق> اصلا في اخر السيري وقت اللي نوصل نوصل بارتي تاع تاع البريباراسيون لونتريتيان ما المستحسن ما المستحسن فرونسيا كهو ولا انجليا كهو بالتونسي لا خاطر برشا برشا شركات في تونس زادا يعملو لي زونتراتيان بالفرونسي شوية بال شوية بالعربي وشوية مخلط اما ساعات اكثر الوقت يعملو بالفرونسي ولا بالانجليزي وكان انت تحب تخدم لبرا ولا تحب تعمل كليونات لبرا ولا تحب تخدم فريلانس فرونسي ولا انجليا لازم سورتو الانجليا الانجليا اكثر من الفرونسي الفرونسي شوية وانت وانت عينك ميزان فوق يزينا مستنينا ليتس جو برو سو جايز ويلكم اجين تو ذا سيريس اباوت رياكت جي اس اند فرونت اند ديفلوبمنت ان جنرال ان ذا لاست ان ذا لاست ابيزود وي ليرند وي ليرند ذا بيزكس اوف ويب ديفلوبمنت اند ذا ويب ان جنرال اند سم Uh, web development languages and we had some uh, practical examples in HTML, CSS, JavaScript and today we will start off with um, TypeScript we will learn what is TypeScript and uh, how to use it and what are, what are its syntax so then we will set up our development environment properly Let me stop the music. After that, we will we will start off with learn. We will uh, continue with learning web development and front end engineering, and we will learn React JS from the start. We will learn what is React JS, single page applications, React uh, DOM, uh, virtual DOM, component life cycles. And we will do some examples. The rest of the uh, React JS course we will learn the hard way with code. And anytime, if you have some questions, uh, just type in the chat and I will answer them directly. And I hope you will learn something today. So, what is TypeScript? Uh, so TypeScript is programming language that that is a superset of JavaScript. It encapsulates JavaScript and adds adds uh, an exterior an external layer of abstraction. Uh, so TypeScript 
adds static type definitions to TypeScript. Uh, TypeScript by default is not typed. It's not typed. So uh, there are some internal types, but they are, uh, they are used um, implicitly, not explicitly, but using TypeScript, we explicitly use the, uh, those types and define our own types to make uh, programming easier and to uh, and help uh, and help catch errors uh, at compile time rather than runtime the dif difference uh, between uh, compile time and runtime is when the error is uh, is being catched compile time uh, meaning while we are developing building etc and runtime while the user is uh, is running is running the the application and we don't want that we want we don't want to to uh, we want we don't want the user catching errors or having the application crashes when he uses it so typescript compiles to plain javascript it's at the end javascript code uh, but compiled uh, it run on any platform that supports JavaScript, and it also supports features such as classes, interfaces, etc., which which are not part of JavaScript standard in any way. Uh, TypeScript also includes tools for better tooling, such as code comp uh, completion, refactoring, and code navigation. Um, and here's some examples of how we can we use JavaScript. Uh, first of all, variable declaration. When we when we declare some variables, any variable, we add a type to it using double points and the type. Uh, and this type um, makes us use uh, makes us um, use a var variables in a certain way and specific way. And though uh, the the um, default Types most used default types of JavaScript uh, of TypeScript for the moment are string, number, boolean. There are some more like function, object, uh, etc. But the most common ones are string, number, and boolean. String for uh, uh, for uh, strings, number for uh, integers and floats, and double and boolean for to and false. To declare uh, function declarations, so uh, the signature of the function is function name of some function uh, between parentheses variables and their types. Uh, double points at the end of the parentheses to specify uh, the return value if we have a return. Otherwise, we don't specify uh, a type of return, but we we use void. And we can we can avoid using void just uh, typing parentheses and the body of the function and it means void to custom type definition uh, we can uh, we can define uh, types using two keys uh, keywords interfa interface or type Inter there are few differences between interface and interface and type uh, but they are, they are a bit different uh, so we use the, the keyword interface or type type name between parentheses um, between curly braces the attributes and their their types now let's move on to setting up our uh, development environment properly for that reason, I installed a virtual machine in which I will set up a new environment with you guys and hope you are you are following me now on, the, on this. First of all, we need uh, an editor. Uh, for, personally, I prefer using the, the VS Code, uh, Visual Studio Code, Microsoft Visual Studio Code exactly, which gives uh, a lot of features that helps JavaScript developers. 
and uh, we can install extensions and it uh, it understands the code and will format it accordingly a web browser for sure and we need to install a package manager the package manager will will is essential and with this package manager we will install all our javascript dependencies uh, react js and uh, the package the package that will install uh, react js skeleton ready to use and ready to be developed into the most common uh, react js uh, the most common javascript uh package managers uh that are used for the moment are npm which is node package manager and yarn but we will use npm so npm install on ubuntu or windows or whatever you you are using And we will type um, let me see we will type apt install curl curl will, will make will help us install other other uh, other programs on Ubuntu for those who are using Windows you can just go uh, to uh, Node.js, the website of Node.js, and you install the latest, uh, uh, the LTS version, and it will install Node alongside npm. For me, I will install right now curl to be able to install Node.js and npm. Now we are downloading the uh, Node.js program and application and in the next step we will install it. sudo apt install node.js and when we install node.js it will install uh, its package manager so to check if we have everything installed. This is, let me zoom in for a bit. Zoom in, control plus. Does not work, but no problem. Note more more minus minus v or minus v. We have no GS version version twelve installed. npm dash v. We have npm version six installed. Saha Sharib Tiksala. So to get started with React GS, the 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 first uh, library that we need to install is um, uh, create react app which creates a skeleton of uh, react js application and to install this we will use npm the node package manager install 
dash g to say it's a global library create react up and we wait Aishk bro actually i need to add sudo to be able to install it globally And for for this library uh, on Windows and and Ubuntu or Linux in general, it's the same command: npm install dash g create react app, and we are ready to go. Now we go back to Visual Studio Code. If you have Visual Studio Code or you installed it for the moment. First of all, we, we will install some extensions that we will need. Extensions. It's not, it's not uh, necessary, but it will, it will have some impact on our code style and our performance if we, use, if we use extensions and other tools that will help us maintain or uh, maintain and create some neat code and clean code. We will install first of all Pretia, and I will tell you. I will tell you later what its uh, what its usage. We will add um, color colorizer. I forget its its name. Scanner. ما 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 كش بس شهيني بس نلعب فليكس برو راو خلينا نكمل على روح براكت بير براكت كالورايزر and we will install some react js extensions react js Uh, we will install the first one, React.js code snippets. Now we'll go to settings. We will search for format. We will activate format on save so that our uh, editor will automatically format the file after we save it and we will see how, how this is important then we will look for formatter we will replace default formatter by prettier code formatter and we are ready to go now let's go back for uh, to our our presentation First of all, what is React.js? React.js uh, is a JavaScript library for building user, user interfaces. So it's mainly a front-end uh, library. It's develop, uh, it is developed by um, Facebook and released in 2013. It allows developers to create reusable UI components and build complex user interfaces using uh, declarative approach. Uh, React.js uses a virtual DOM, not uh, not the real DOM that we are uh, we see when we inspect on or when we see the uh, the uh, the co uh, source code of a web application. It uses uh, a virtual DOM, which compares in real time the virtual DOM to the real DOM and see what. Uh, when the, our application or when our DOM has changed and make the changes to the real DOM. So the changes to the interface is not directly uh, applied to, uh, to, uh, to the DOM document object model, but indirectly through virtual, a virtual DOM, which is an object, a JSON object. And it makes React.js very efficient and fast. 
the second aspect that we need to 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 learn is single single page application so single page application is a web application that dynamically updates a single web application rather than loading new pages from the server so this this aspect helps us and uh, helps developer uh, improve or develop user interfaces uh, uh, with with new approach with uh, with uh, that uh, that provide a more fluid and seamless user experience and by this approach saha shrib tkrania and uh, you uh, in in, an, in a single page application the initial html css and javascript files are loaded once uh, not every time the user clicks or on a link or uh, interacts with the page uh, and when um, and after that as the user interacts with the application, the client side JavaScript code dynamically updates the content using using in the background the function that we learned the last time, the uh, the um, DOM manipulation functions. And we don't see that. We see a really fluid web application that uh, that loads data uh, really fast and interacts when, with the user in real time. Uh, with a fluid and seamless user experience. Next, the virtual DOM that we talked about. The virtual DOM is a do uh, document object model, is a concept used in modern web uh, development frameworks such as React and UGS. Uh, to optimize performance uh, of web applications. And as we, uh, as I said earlier, uh, the virtual DOM is a parallel uh, object that contains uh, a, um, JSON representation of the real do uh, document object model. And whenever the uh, virtual DOM changes, React JS compares the two and makes uh, the uh, correspondent changes on the virtual uh, on the real DOM. أنا ديجا قاعد نتعلم باش نخدم React من native من JS. It's the same, it's the same language probably, but not the same, the same JSX code. But at the end, it's this, it's the same. If you learn React JS, if you learn React JS, you will, you will be good on React Native, and I assure you that. The the main difference is, uh, it's not the same. Uh, GSX code. So you, after learning React JS, you need to learn uh, most or the most used the React Native GSX functions and uh, components, uh, and that's all. Um, now to the uh, React JS component lifecycle. The component life cycle is uh, uh, the component. First of all, is anything you see on on the on the page. It can be a button. It can be a link. It can be a uh, an image. It can be uh, a combination of anything and everything. Anything in the in the user interface is a component, which uh, which compose of other components and the uh, and its life cycles starts from in, uh, initialization mounting updating updating again updating again and at the end uh, when the component will will disappear from the user interface uh, it unmounts so the cycle is initialization mounting updating at, and at the end, unmounting. Now we will do, uh, we will do hard code. We will learn by coding. Raniel replay dima موجود على Twitch و ومن غدا يبدا موجود على على ال على شين يوتيوب. أو بس نحط لك شين يوتيوب على. في الشات ديجا الابيزود الاولى فرونسي و انجلي موجودين اه 
Hop. L'épisode là où la Hongrie est français, mon jeudi, non, ou dès demain, l'épisode est dit comme mon jeudi, Inch'Allah. Ok. Let's go directly into coding. So first of all, we will install an empty React.js project using create react app that we installed uh, earlier. To, to do that, we, we will use the command mpx, mpx to execute uh, a command mpx create react app and we will give it a name um, example whatever and we will use typescript typescript model for that and let me check the documentation and the documentation uh, documentations are our most faithful friends so you can go always to documentations uh, create react app typescript template typescript and we're ready to go uh, sorry i need to add to install another version of node Yes. Sixteen on Ubuntu. And the command is sudo t install node ps and we wait To use the other version of um, of Node.js, we use NVM, um, NVM use 60. It does not find, find an NVM, so we will install it. sudo apt get install and vm node uh, version monitor it doesn't find it install nvm you've been apt install nvm what the hell No, no, it's here. Uh, 
nvm use 16 nvm dash l okay nvm install 16 nvm use 16 and i guess it's already using 16 now okay now we will create our react app using typescript template okay On Windows, it's more easier than that. Everything, uh, everything is available when, when you install Node.js using the interface, not using the, uh, the terminal. And we wait. If you have questions, guys, don't don't hesitate and ask them in the chat. almost there that's it's done cd example to go to, to go into the project code point to to launch vs code in this folder and open it into in vs code and we will see the structure of the project Yes. Let me zoom in. Okay. Uh, as you can see, this is the structure of javascript project and this is our structure of react.js project especially we have node modules uh, which contains all the uh, libraries and modules that we will be using and uh, that react.js uses to to create build run anything uh, of react.js project public which contains uh, the HTML and manifest, uh, which are the uh, the important ones in in, the, in this folder. Uh, so HTML contains the uh, main template of our project, and as you can see here, we have uh, we have the head. It doesn't uh, concern us a lot, but we have in the body div id route 
which will contain everything that we are rendering using React.js from now on. We can we can change that to app, for example, or anything we want. But in this div ID route, React.js will render everything and everything. SRC will contain 100% uh, of our code and the rest of the files are files concerning the project itself, uh, not, not our code or not our source or our application, but it concerns how the application runs and, uh, and for example, package.json and here we have uh, it illustrates and shows the dependencies that we are using. We can we can add more dependencies using npm. The node package manager. We have scripts. Start that will start the project build that uh, uh, which will build the project uh, to future deployments. Test to uh, to run. Uh, the the tests etc eject i don't advise you to use this only if you know what it means and other things we won't, we won't see them for the moment it has an app name its version and uh the dependencies as i said uh and scripts which are the most important uh properties in package.json it has other other files like uh, package lock which locks the versions that we are using uh, um, let's let's say someone else uh, comes to uh, to the team and installs the modules the package lock will lock the versions uh, that he will install so that he installs the same versions that we use to, to avoid conflicts of versions we have, for example, uh, git ignore, which will uh, which will tell uh, git to ignore some files or some directories and not push them uh, into git or our branches. We will we will learn more about git in future lesson lessons. Now let's go to our source file files. Our first file will be index.tsx or index.gsx if we are using the default template, which is JavaScript template rather than uh, TypeScript template. In this file, we are running the project and we are uh, rendering it into the div id route that we talked about in the uh, in the public index.html earlier and uh, we, we we said here react react dom uh, which which um, uh, which is the object that uh, that maintains and manipulates the DOM in this object we have create route which will uh, uh, will select the route of our application and it is for the moment document.get element by ID route which is this div exactly this div and its ID is route Let's go back. So in this uh, route, which is React DOM object, we have the function render, which will render our application. Let's forget about React strict mode for the moment, which will render our application. Up. 
is the main file that we uh, that will be rendered inside the uh, div route element in uh, HTML, and all the React JS code that we are uh, we will write is inside in a way or, or another app component. This, as you can see, uh, it's uh, XML or HTML like uh, uh, syntax, but it's not HTML or XML, it's JavaScript. Uh, and the syntax resembles a lot HTML and, um, and XML, but this is HTML and HTML component. Let's go now to the app and see what's inside. So our application, our app.tsx contains a function, which is a component that returns visible elements. And this app, we will return, we will display a div that can, uh, contains header, that contains some elements, uh, images, paragraphs, a link, and some text. And as you can see, it resembles a lot HTML, but at the end, it's not HTML, it's GSX, it's JavaScript, uh, uh, XML, uh, and uh, it will be rendered as HTML at the end, but all of these are React.js components. Now, let's start our project. And to do so, it's really simple. It's npm run start. And now we wait. It will tell us this uh, the development ser a server is being started. And it will run on localhost. 3000 and now our react application is being started and we can start developing some stuff and writing some code Sorry, but my virtual machine is a bit laggy, so I will close the virtual machine and start over on my machine. Exit, power off. And since we just started, we didn't, we didn't lose anything. Up. Let me create new project example. Let's go into using terminal and we will type mpx create react app uh, movie explorer. template type script in this in this example we will uh, we will create an application that uses uh, that calls an API search for movies and display some information about said movie or uh, or movie selected uh, from the search.
So let's go into our our directory, project directory, movie explorer, code dot Let me zoom in and in our terminal we will say npm run start to start the project and we wait. It's done almost. Now our React application is running uh, using the 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 command npm run start, and we will start coding. We will go to app. Dot tsx which contains everything and we will remove everything and keep a div inside now we have nothing and we will start from from zero so to to create the the um the file structure that we have is an import section which contains our imported files or libraries, the component, and the export. We will we will use we will implement and we will write uh, imports, exports, and components right away. But for the moment, we will do some some research to look for. Uh, a UI library that we will use. There are several UI libraries like Chakra UI, which is uh, compatible with uh, React.js. There is also Material UI. Um, ANT Design. And it's up to you to choose what uh what library that you will use to create your your user interface personally i prefer using chakra ui so i will get started with chakra ui and to install chakra ui there is there are some simple commands first of all we will install some commands some libraries then we will get start uh, we will get started using chakra ui and create our user interface and always guys don't uh, don't forget that documentations are your most faithful friends hi <laughs> So let's install, let's finish installing Chakra UI and to install it we need to, to import the Chakra provider and use it inside our, our application. And this will let us use Chakra UI anyway, uh, anywhere inside our application. Let's get started first of all with uh, creating a navigation bar. Navigation, 
Uh, or menu. Let's see. Create navigation bar using Chakra UI React. Simple point user drop down. And this is a simple navigation bar. Let's see the code. And let's copy everything and create a new component under components slash navigation dot tsx and let's paste we need to install this library npm install Sakurai UI icons now it's done we have a simple a simple navigation bar that we will be editing later on navigation and we will import our component from the file import navigation from components slash navigation and let's see what it gives us now we have a simple a simple navigation that we'll be editing right now we will remove the logo we will go to links we have dashboard project and team and we will remove everything and we will keep one page search and the other page is search history and we will remove the avatar from there And now we have two a menu containing two pages search and search history now we will create two pages first one is search dot tsx the second page is uh, is history which will contain the search history and we will know much history.tsx so to create your first component it's really simple const your name of the component equals a function that will return a gsx component 
and we will export default to say this is our default export export default search we can export several several elements uh, from the same from the same file we, but only we will have one export default we can say const x is search and we will export it export x and that's all what am i, what am I missing In this search page, we will we will display a form, and let's go back to Chakra documentation, and we will say form control. And we will create our first form. Let's create it using simple ways. Form. And in this form, we will have an input type text. placeholder search for a movie and we will create the other component which is the search history constant history equals a function that returns gsx content and for example, a div containing the word history, and we will export our component for external use. Now, let's see. As you can see nothing nothing is displayed since we are not using or calling uh, those two components so we need to call those two components and for that we will remove everything that we don't use now we will uh, the, the links that we we display in the so, uh, navigation bar does on, does not take us anywhere so we will add uh, we will replace this with hypertext link href link and let's go back to our react.js and does not take us anywhere Of course, since I'm editing the wrong, the wrong links. Now it it take us to search and history, but there is no content. So for that, we will need to install new package, which is 
React Router DOM, which will help us uh, manage and navigate between pages and show the right the right content in the right place. And as always, we can go back to the documentations, React Router DOM. And let's see an example. Um, example, example, basic, SRC, main. So First of all, to make everything work, we need to wrap our application with the, the React Router provider using port browser router as router from React Router DOM and we will wrap everything inside our router after that we will import We will import routes and route from React Router DOM to, to make us display the right content from the right page. And to do that, we will create a wrapper router and inside it multiple routes and we have only two routes for the moment the route search and the route history component of the route first component is search and we need to import search using import search from its uh, its path the second component history and it will and we need to import it from pages slash history and its path is path uh, search sorry Path is history. and let's check if our router works. What did I do wrong? Oh, routes, not route. Now, if we go to history it will render our history content and if we go to search it will render our history search uh, our search content and which is a form containing an input and that's all now let's go to our form and we will make something good out of it Let me just delete this before forgetting about it. Now we will style a bit our formula. Style. 
display flex height let's say 50% of the page justify content center and flex direction color now we will put our input inside the container And this container will have the styles that will make our input go to the center of the page. Margin. Now we will style our input but we will use chakra ui chakra ui form inputs input as simple as that we will copy the import of chakra ui input and we will use it instead of our simple input input type text place holder search for a movie and let's see how it goes we have an input here and if we type in it we will have some content and let's say we want to search for guardian of the galaxy and we have nothing that works beside an input in the center of of a page let's say we want to use this uh this input to search for uh for real infos about real movies so first of all we need to control our our form and to do that we need to uh, to link our our input to a state and to create a state we'll use the hook the react hook use state which will return uh, let's say input set input use state to create the, our state and its type string by default it's empty and to use that we need to import it from the library react and whenever our state changes it will update and re-render our our component entirely and to update it we cannot do for example input is x y z but we need to pass through set input which will update our our input state now the value of the input will be input and let's try it try if it works it does not work because we we used uh we used input as an empty string but we did not set it to any value and to set it we need to 
handle the event of the input on change when the input changes we will call a function that gets an, ev an event and this function we will set the input e dot target dot value and now when we change when we type in it will change and at the same time it will save the value inside the state we will add we will remove this form we don't we don't use it we'll place it by a div and we will add a button let's look for buttons for nice buttons inside chakra ui button we will import button from chakra ui and we will use its simple declaration of button and here in the text we will put search it will display now it will display a blue button containing the term search and that's what did it did do we want to display those two buttons side by side so style display flex and we will give it a gap of 20 pixels to have some space between the button and the input now we want to handle the event of clicking on the button and you and we will use the attribute on click and we will pass a function to it and in this function we will simply alert the content of the input sure sure adam sure we will talk about it mate uh, it's an interesting uh, tool or uh, ai if you want but for me it's just a tool it's an it's an interesting topic to talk about is the mnf blah blah demon is the mnf but i'm sure actually now let's try our uh, latest latest code we will type harry Potter and click now it it alerts our input content let's say in the chamber of secrets and it will display the content of our input um clear off you want to you know the difference between use memo and use callback that's it The difference between use memo and use callback is really simple, mate. Uh, use memo, we use it to uh, to memorize uh, a value, but use callback, we use it to memorize a return of a function. You can consider it this way. Use memo uh, to memorize a simple value, use callback to memorize the return of a function. or rather a function and its return values use callback yeah 
if you have other questions uh just ask them mate now we will use our simple input and button to search for informations about about movies and for that we will install a new library which is uh, axios npm install axios and axios will will let us and will help us um, uh, fetch data from from an api or communicate with an external api using uh, http requests and http methods now that we have uh, axios installed we can use use it and for that let me look for um, movie api open movie api uh, omdb api i guess it's free yeah i guess and i think i have an api key to use it and first of all let's let's test it using postman postman is a tool that that help us uh, uh, simplify testing uh, external apis uh, how can i zoom okay so we have uh, the URL of the API the method for, for the moment we are only interested in using the get method and it accepts two two keys two uh, params first one is the API key which we won't touch and a param s which will contain the search term let's say potter and it will give us uh, and this api will return uh, the result of our search of the term potter for example here we have the title harry potter and the De deathly hallows Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stones, etc., etc. Let's search for other movies. Miss Potter. So it it returned it returned more than ten results out of two two hundred and five. We will use this API to to search for informations about movies. Let's go back to our code. And now we will create a callback function. Use search for movie infos. And in this callback, use callback. We will, add, we will create a function that will be memorized and in this function we will create a result const result that will contain await axios we will we need to import axios dot get and the url will be the url that we tested this url and it needs to have config i guess let's go back to the axios 
uh, documentation axios so to get started let's go to the examples we already installed we already imported okay let's axios dot get our url and options here we don't need any options for the moment so we will create a string template to to use our input the first parameter needs to be an api key let me use mine and the second parameter will be search term s and the input and we will add input to the dependency array here and when it's done so axios.get gets us a promise so we need to add then to catch a response console.log our response dot data and the catch at the end to see if we had errors instead of re retrieving real results console dot error error and let's call our function when we click on the button search for that let's open our inspector to see the console Up. Let's search for water. And now our our axios.get got us new results. Response is true. Total results is 205. And we got 10 elements in this page which contains Harry Potter, etc. and Miss Potter at the end of the results now that we have some results in our uh, in our response we need to store them in a state results or movies set movies use state and it will contain a list so we will will we will type our state we'll give it a type movie and the list and we don't have this movie type so we need to create new type type movie which will contain the attributes that we have in our http response first of all poster which is string title string type string year string 2 it can be a number but the response has a string so we will type it string emd b id string and we will use later on this emdb id to get more information about the movies that we search for 
no, th this this movies this movie state will contain a list of movie and we will say set movies and it will contain a response dot data dot search now that we have now that we have a uh, search for movies and for informations about movies we will need to display them in our in our page so we will create we will create a new container here div and in this container we will call uh movie list display which is which is a new component that we will create we will create this component and put it in component folder dot tsx movie list dot tsx const movie list is a function that will return gsx content movie list export default movie list display in this in this component we will we will need to pass the movie list that we will uh, that we will we will display so we need to pass some props to our uh, to our component and its type will be props type and let's create our props type here type props type is novice it will contain an object containing movies which in which type is movie list and we do not know this movie list what it is this this type in this file we did not import it so we need to export this type using the keyword export and it will be exported now we need to import it in this file here or maybe we'll need to create another file and export it from there it will be better create types dot d dot ts and in this file we'll export our our types we'll create declare and export our types and here we will export it import movie from types uh, let's go back types and we put it in inside curly braces because it's not an export default it's an export it's an, a normal export so it's inside curly braces if we have here export default something we don't have to put it inside curly braces now we need to import it here to import movie from let's go back to the other folder and types Now we said we said in the in the declaration of uh, of movie list display we said that we need to pass uh, movies as a movie list to this component so we need to pass it here movies will contain movies our state. 
And do not forget to import the movie list display. Import movie list display from. Let's go back to the other folder. Components movie list display. And since it was uh, a default export, so we don't have to put it inside curly braces. And let's see. It always display movie list display since that's we recommended to do. Now, if we have a movie list props dot movies dot length is zero. So we don't have any any element inside the movie list. We will return null saying that we will return um, other than null we will return div no movies search found otherwise we will display a list so we will go back to chakra ui documentation to look for uh, a list for example Let's say mm, not that kind of a list. Uh, let's say card. Yeah, we'll display a card, a card like this for each movie. So let's go and create we need to uh, loop inside movies dot using the map function movie and its type will be movie and for each movie we will return a card and let's go copy the code of the, uh, the code example of card here we will import everything we will remove what's not necessary for example this text here and this text here the heading will keep the heading and the image will keep the image. Let's import we will remove also the buttons. We won't we don't need those buttons. And we will replace the image by our own image. And here we will say movie which is our current item title image src which is exactly like uh, the H html image movie dot poster and let's see how does it work now we will look for water and we will search for all the posters of water now that it works we need to uh, we need to make it a bit representable, so we'll replace this div. We will style this div. We will say, first of all, it's a display flex flex wrap is 
grab. Sorry. And for the card, we will say its size is excess. The title size is SM or small. The height of the image will be the maximum height, let's say height, will be 200 pixels. And for each element we will add style, for each card we will add style, and let's say max will have one zero and 26 percent let's search for um I don't know what to look for. Um, Home Alone. Or Alone. Search. We have Home Alone 4, Stand Alone, Alone, etc. We need to. See why our style is getting wrecked. So yeah. It's because we made it inside inside the search container and we will get left now we have a better looking page when we can search for movies and later on maybe in the second uh, next session we will we will add more features to our application. First feature we will add is when we create and when we click on any poster or title of uh, of the movie, it will display a model or a pop up containing more information that we will get from EMDB API or other APIs containing containing more information about the movie, maybe the rating, maybe. Uh, the actors, the genre, etc. And we will we will store we will store our search history and display it in this page which will contain our search history and uh, maybe its results if we can or if we want to. So I hope uh you 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 benefited from this session or uh, and this lecture and you you got interested in react yes in general i know it's not uh it's not easy for those who are not well based or did not learn uh front end engineering or uh, development but uh in my experience, uh, when you put your head into it, it's not that hard. It's actually uh, simpler than a lot of uh, web technology. So uh, I hope you get, you got something at the end and see you in the next time, guys. Uh, Hamdi, I will, uh, I will play some games in 15 minutes, probably. So if you want, I will see you later. See you guys.